Hello and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. On the last run, we finally managed to finish Mega Satan on every character. It took forever, but right now let's just do a little bit of a victory lap as Lazarus. We still need to, I hate this room. We still need to actually finish the chest with Azazel. Dunce Cap with the little brimstone laser is actually pretty cool. It means that we can, um, we can hit enemies at a little bit of a diagonal. The only problem with this is that we can't really hit enemies with both laser beams and we also have a very limited range, but maybe we can find a cool synergy that works with these uh, brimstone lasers. And I will go ahead and take the Thunder Thighs. This is an HP upgrade and we can always trade that HP away for a uh, deal with the devil, but also it gives us the ability to crush open pots, skulls, and anything else in the later floors that we want. I think that is a I think that is a good enough reason to pick it up. Also, this is a very strange set of drops we've been getting. Double drops on the last two rooms? What is going on with that? Don't quite understand, but I'm not going to complain about it. We don't have any sort of uh, contract from below. Ooh, that was just absolutely dumb. I completely forgot that I had the ability to crush rocks, even though I was crushing rocks. Yeah, I have no idea why we kept getting those double drops. Maybe it was just a luck thing, or maybe my game has glitched out. I would not put that past it, because we, or I do, or I have been experiencing a little bit of sound glitches. Yeah, what the hell? Okay. Dunce cap, lard, and I guess I just have contract from below. That is extremely strange. I don't remember getting anything like that would give me a uh, extra item on this run. I didn't pick up uh, Eden's Blessing. I don't even know if I have that item unlocked. So just having contract from below is very strange. Hopefully it's not just a, a bug in my game because I, again, I did edit the game sound files to make the chest audio a little bit quieter. But other than that, I haven't changed anything. This is just a, you know, vanilla game of Isaac, so hopefully nothing untoward is happening. This guy's not shooting, which is a little bit awkward, but he managed to... I managed to kill him without him doing anything. Deal with the Devil, teleport to the Deal with the Devil, and a Guppy's Tail, which is a definite good pickup. And let's just go down, the, go down to the next floor. I found both the item rooms. I'm not going to backtrack just to get to the curse room. And I'm looking forward to an easy, quick run as Azazel, very strong, maybe boss rush, maybe maybe hush, even though I don't need to do those. And just really just because the last few runs that I've done have taken forever, primarily because I've had to go through the process of getting Mega Sane. And that is usually a very, well, not very, but it is usually a time intensive thing. So I am very happy to just have a nice quick run as Zazel, strong, maybe even, dare I say, overpowered. Dunce Cap, not so much, but there are some really good synergies with Dunce Cap that we can still pick up. You know, we can always pick up a full-on brimstone laser. We can always increase our mini brimstone range so that we can fire it further. And if we get homing, then both, both of these brimstone lasers will be able to home in on enemies. So I'm very much looking forward for those, or looking for those types of upgrades. Abel, not so much. Abel is just kind of a garbage pickup in this situation. Still gonna pick it up though, because this at least removes him from the golden chest item pools, so we don't accidentally find him in one of those. I would much rather get something like Cricket's Head than Abel. Gonna take a little bit of damage on this room, just because it is a little bit confusing to try to hit these guys with the Diagonal brimstone lasers, but that's okay. Tinted Rock gives us an extra spirit heart. We got some bombs and keys thanks to those two golden chests. Just a, just a few silkworms, one of which is small, not because I made him small, and I need to need to remember that small enemies when I don't have God's flesh, and even sometimes when you do have God's flesh. They're just champions, so they will do a full heart of damage if you run into them. You can't run into those guys. That was actually a pretty good little brimstone shot, but unfortunately it didn't kill this explosive head, and I'm really worried about him exploding and hitting me because of my short range. Do need to get a damage upgrade at some point. 
the brimstone laser is it does a pretty good amount of damage but it is a little bit of a uh, of a low damage this is actually pretty nice because I can still hit the fallen when it does its uh, brimstone laser thanks to my ability to shoot diagonally one is dead the other is dead we pick up the satanic Bible which is fantastic and we only get the razor blade which I don't really want to take but I'm gonna take anyways just so that I have the deal with the devil precedent and let's just go down to the next floor we've already found the item room we've already been to the curse room even so let's get out of there flooded caves 2 making record time well maybe not record time but considering the last few runs this is pretty much record time would be lucky to get to this part by uh, 15 minutes much less four buttons on the arcade just some enemies unfortunate that we didn't get anything better out of it but oh well paralysis paralysis at least it's good to know that it's there so we can get it out of the questionable pill rotation we know it's there we can ignore it whenever it shows up in the future maybe we can get some sort of a PhD PhD I wonder what happens to paralysis pills with PhD I wonder if maybe you can uh, transform those pills into something a little bit better thanks to Stompy I can just run into the poops I don't need to actually shoot them and we did get that tears downgrade which is negatively affecting our speed but I'm hoping that we can maybe get a speed upgrade actually we did get a speed upgrade we got the belt so that's why my speed isn't as terrible as it would be had we not picked up the belt and I gotta be careful not to actually run over these mushrooms because they will do a substantial amount of damage to me that was just dumb they will do damage to me if they explode into the green poo gas so I gotta be careful there's a speed upgrade so now we are pretty dang fast and I will open these golden chests why not we're pretty strong taking a little bit of damage but I think we're strong enough to not have to worry about all that dumb damage so I, I really don't mind getting hit occasionally especially if it means going a little bit faster mega fatty is gonna be annoying but I don't have to worry about his creep at all which is nice I can just shoot and then run away in case he does a little bit of a jump attack and he's gonna jump yep there's a little bit of a guess but I assumed that he was gonna jump he hadn't jumped in a while two more regular stone chests and another pill amnesia all right well I don't really oh I just walked into the mushroom because again I forgot that I actually have stompy that's just me being an idiot. I need to remember that I have that item and that I should not just run into mushrooms. It'll be better on the next floor because we'll we'll be dealing with skulls and we'll oops. We'll be dealing with skulls and we'll have the option of picking up cards from the skulls by walking into the into them instead of almost killing ourselves. Well, not almost killing ourselves, but dealing substantial damage to ourselves by just running into the mushrooms. If I got magic mushroom, it would, it would all be forgiven, but unfortunately that has not happened. Speed plus range from mini mush would also be pretty nice to have. Do have a lot of money, so let's check out the shop. We get sharp plug. Interesting. Doesn't actually make us invincible yet, but it could actually make us invincible if we could... Uh, if we could pick up a few more items that synergize, like... Nun's Habit or the Wafer makes us basically invulnerable because we'll be able to just constantly use the Satanic Bible, basically infinite, to get infinite health. Ah, gotta wait for Brimstone to finish charging. Now I can get both of the Brimstone shots to hit Gertie, and this is a champion Gertie that's only gonna spawn enemies it's actually going to make this a little bit more difficult because I need to focus on the enemies. I can't just focus on Gertie. But when Gertie doesn't spawn the flies, I can just stand in front of him and shoot him, which is nice. Yes, so Sharp Plug deals two full hearts of damage, not just one. Which is why we can't use it right now to get infinite health. Maybe in the future, but not for now. Lemon Party or the Devil? Honestly, Lemon Party. 
Lemon Party is a very good damage dealing item. And what did we pick up from this floor? We haven't found the item room yet, so let's go find that. I almost left the floor without even looking for it, but thanks to Amnesia, that is. But I did remember to check the item list, and we didn't pick up anything from this floor. So let's go find the item room really quick. Maybe I did find it, and I'm just misremembering, but I don't think we did. A couple more bombs. We already have 15, so it's not going to not going to help us all that much. As much money as I can get is fine, because I would like to donate as much money as I can to the shop. I actually complete. I actually forget if the shop donation machine jammed yet. I just remember donating a few cents. I don't remember if I can continue to donate to it. Was Did I find the item room already? What the hell? Come on, brain. Try to, try to, try to keep up. Okay, it's not in here. It's just a lot of red hearts, unfortunate, that we can't use them for anything. There's the item room. We got guillotine. Guillotine? Guillotine. It's a pretty good item, it does increase your damage. It is gonna make it a little bit more difficult to aim, but we do have a familiar now. We can use that familiar to run into enemies, do damage to them. Yeah, okay, it jammed. That's good. Well, it's actually not good that it jammed, but it's good that I remember, did actually play it as fully as I could on this floor. We only managed, managed to get a few cents into it, if I remember correctly, but it's okay. A little bit at a time. All right, some extra bomb, keys, monies. Guillotine is going to be a pain to get used to because my head can't take any damage. My body can take damage though, so I gotta remember to actually position my head so that it can hit enemies, but don't position my body in a position where it can get hit. Position, position. Get a rune from this room, from this champion, blank rune. Ah, purity, excellent. Got rid of that curse of darkness, and it gave us another blank rune, which was Yara, which du duplicated the lemon party. If I was trying to min-max this a little bit, what I could do is hold on to the blank rune and use them in runes that I want to Yara but I am not up for doing that right now. This is this is the quick run. This is the run where I just try to run through it as fast as possible, get to the end, finish the chest, and actually knock something else off of the post-it notes. Even if it is just the chest with a Zazel. It's something that I need to do, and it's looking like we'll be able to do it so far. I mean, we haven't really run into too much of a problem on this run other than me just being an idiot and taking a lot of unnecessary damage, but we did kind of luck out on the on the Fallen fight, and we got a very, very, very good item in the Satanic Bible. Ooh, I was not expecting homing shots out of that guy. Retro I would have liked to have been able to get some more donations done because we have a ton of money on this run. There is, well, there is Ghost Baby and a Crawl Space. So maybe we can find a black market and buy some more items. Nope, it is just Loki's horns, which honestly, I have no idea how it's gonna synergize with what we've got going on here. I couldn't charge and I couldn't hit that guy. That's kind of embarrassing. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm interested in seeing how this works out. I imagine that we will get an occasional, you know, brimstone laser firing off in all directions, but I'm wondering if each of those brimstone lasers will be at an angle, or if it, 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 they will just be in the three cardinal directions, and it does in fact look like it's just in the three cardinal directions, but that's still good. It means we can hit enemies behind us occasionally. Maybe that'll screw us over for things like explosive enemies, like these bomb flies, but it's interesting nonetheless, and if we pick up something like Mom's Knife, we'll just get quad Mom's Knife following our body around at all times, even if it doesn't shoot out of us at all times. Do need to find the item room, but let's go ahead and fight the boss first because we are here. It is war. War is not going to be too difficult. Tried to explode the TNT barrel before he went away. And these taking a lot of damage here, but it's kind of hard to uh, 
process where I am at all times. I did try. Okay, careful. Oh, that's nice. There we go. Ball of bandages. It's going to be at least a little bit of a defensive item for us, which I do like. And I will take goat head. Brother Bobby, though, I don't really need it. Tammy's head is a good item, though. I think I'll take this. We'll be able to... All right, already went down there. We'll be able to shoot a massive little mini brimstone laser of death around us whenever we walk into a room. This run just got interesting. Now, if we could get real brimstone, that would be awesome. And we will, in fact, get every deal with the devil from now on out. From now on out? From now on in? I think one of these pills is good. Yeah, speed up. There we go. Just some hands coming down. I can deal with them without needing to use Tammy's head. These guys, as soon as they jump. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. I forgot that the first wave we dealt with was actually spiders. Technically not a wave from this room. So I took a little bit of dumb damage there. But that's okay. Not going to not going to worry about it too much. We still have three and a half HP, and if I find any batteries on the ground, I will probably backtrack for the book just to make sure that I don't die. I thought I could, I could thought I could get in there before they actually hit me, but that's obviously not the case. Would like to play this guy, but I don't have any HP. You know what I should have done is I should have used Lemon Party against the either the Gauntlet Room that we just fought or the War Boss because he would have just walked into the into the into the lemon party creep and killed himself. Also, I need to be a lot more careful about my HP and my positioning because I'm taking a lot of dumb damage, but that's two, three batteries, so that's definitely worth it to backtrack, I think. I also should have saved some more keys because now I'm totally out of keys. Money is good, but I can't get into the shop, but I might be able to blow my way into the shop. Eh, doesn't look like I can. So, this is a bit of an annoying situation I should not have used as many keys as I did that should be the secret room no and maybe we'll find a key nope just a greed fight what am I doing I need to use Tammy's head I always have this problem where I I forget that I have a really good item and then I never use it I need to be using Tammy's head whenever I get the opportunity because it is a really good item to use and we are almost dead which is a little bit scary but hopefully with the extra HP that is back here, thanks to Satanic Bible plus three batteries, we'll be able to hopefully live. It's getting close, though. It is getting close. Okay. Satanic Bible, don't walk into the TNT barrels. And I am starting to consider that gu Guillotine was not a good pickup because I have just been running into enemies. I have been running into my own shots. I've been running in... I haven't been dodging well, and as a result, I've just taken a lot of dumb damage that I should not have probably been taking. All right, should not have taken. Okay, where were those batteries? There's one, two in this room, and then one in the next room. HP situation is looking a little bit better now. Wait. Oh, I hit spacebar before I picked up the battery, and I hurt myself. Okay. Be care I'm <sighs> okay I'm a, a bit of an idiot I will admit let's try not to do that again let's try to stay alive come on this is a good run this is a very good run no reason to screw it up so let's not may or may not do boss rush it depends on what we get from it I assume that we will be able to get there in time because we're making pretty good progress and with Tammy's head brimstone if I remember to use it we should make excellent time on this floor. Well, as long as I don't accidentally walk into exploding enemies and hurt myself. Okay. Got a couple of keys, too. Gotta remember to actually charge the brimstone laser. These guys are a pain. I actually don't really remember this room at all. How did... 
Oh, I got hit there because I walked my body into the enemy because I get, like usual, I forget that I am not my head. I am my body. My head is orbiting my body. I may not survive this run, which would be a bit of a disappointment, but I'm just gonna blame guillotine because that is making it very difficult for me to actually parse where I am. I need to, I need to focus on my character sprite more because a lot of times when I play this game, I, ooh, fool is actually really good because it means we might be able to steal a item from boss rush. A lot of times I don't focus on my character. I focus on where my character, on where my shots are coming from, or on what my per peripheral vision sees. And that's actually causing me a lot of problems here. I need to not do that. I don't know why I put a bomb there. There's no reason to blow up that guy. I don't need anything from him. Okay, so let's focus on me more. Also, I need to be using the brimstone laser. I can't not be using it. It is a like primary way in which I deal damage in a very quick, easy manner. Okay, I might just die here. Oh, yeah, I died. Okay, well, it was a fun run regardless. It was very strong, and I was just a little bit caught up in the guillotine-ness of it. I was not able to dodge properly, but that's okay. I will try this again on the next run, potentially, or just try another character we have Hush to do. That was... I liked that run because it was fine. It was my fault that I died, but it was fine. Had plenty of damage and everything. It was fun anyways. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you again for the next run.